Hello, so welcome back everyone. And Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as Vader in here, our agent. And we have chosen to tentatively ally with the Republic in pushing the Empire off the world of Iocath and to secure this super weapon. We last, when we last left off, we helped defend the Republic base of operations. We're now looking to secure some weapons for our assault on the Imperial base. Let's see what the Republic reputation vendor has. Best post exchange around. You need it, we got it. You know, it's not a bad llama set. Of course, we need to be considered a hero for some of the parts of the armor set. Looks like we have various upgrades. For mouse droids, turrets, walkers. I think we're not really playing with right now. Good luck out there. I believe you can spend the Iocaf power shards on controlling or equipping various turrets as extra items when you're exploring the Iocaf expanse. If you put yourself back in the in the past, after the Knights of the Eternal Throne expansion, the war on Iocaf would have kind of been the endgame battle map for players of the Republic and the Empire. So they probably would make use of purchasing assault walkers and mounted turrets to fight one another. We have a mission terminal here. Ooh, bloody hell. Why don't we look to complete six of these daily quests? Why not? I'm not sure how dangerous a Colossus Colossus droid might be, but we're not going to be you. We're not going to be playing as an Iocaf monitor. I think we've just fortified the defenses. I think that quest is just what we've completed now. The Psalm for laser emitters. Restore power to the factory. Why not? We can pacify some of the hostile droids. Oh, these are going to be ending shortly. Hmm. Oh dear. Heat vent towers and the weapons factory have gone offline. Will we be able to complete these in time? I do not know. But it will give us plenty to do, if nothing else. Plenty to do on the way to the weapons factory. Is the exit? 
here. Looking for hostile and caretaker droids. Whoa! I didn't even see you there. Do have these said the sable laser emitters, I thought that's what it meant, but seemingly not. Nothing else, let's push on towards the weapons factory. The weapons factory is actually right here in the center. There are various trams that will also get us there.
This will help. We head east. We should get to the normal entrance to the weapons factory. Oh, this is the... Well, this is the Chrome Garden. We almost... We were here in... Yeah, like, earlier. There was a techno lift. Here, maybe? These are the late ah yeah, we're definitely we've been here before. In fact there's the weapons factory. Huh. Are they reusing the same assets? Because the weapons factory seems very similar to um where we were previously. Uh when we were here on Ioka. Need to find one more laser emitter if we can. Here we are inside the weapons factory. Where we can find the heat vent towers. Joe would be proud. Ooh. The heat vent towers and the power console are in here. Yeah, this looks familiar.
there goes the caretaker droid mission. restart the factory reactors as well as access the power console. Ah, uh, don't think it matters which way we go. Intercept dismember. Remember when I said we had the we had a factory tram system? Here it is here for the Republic and the Imperial side. We could have bypassed a lot of the expanse if we so wished. We have control of a techno lift. Beat you to it. No. Then I just hmm. so we can now enter the control room, but looks like we can do this again for part of the side mission.
Here, this will help. Reach the reactor control. Power up the factory. Defeat your enemies. Is now online. Head on to the control room. Is that what I think it is? One of Iacath's original creators. Looks like it's been dead for centuries. Well, let's hope it stays that way. There's no sign of trauma. I wonder how it died. One way to find out. All right, buddy. Let's see what you know about these weapons. What a magnificent world. Even blemished by ruin. And soon it will belong to the Empire. The apparatus is almost complete. Unfortunately, the fragmented data has caused a few minor setbacks. I expect it to be fully operational within the hour. No excuses. Yes, Empress. Victory is almost upon us. Soon our enemies will lie in ruin, and glory will be restored to the Sith Empire. Jack. I'd say that's enough firepower to give Asina a run for her money. Download every last file. We need to know how to use these weapons and how to build more of them. Give me one minute. Huh. This place used to be the super weapons control room. Looks like our crispy friend here was the last one to use it. Over a millennia ago. Search the records for any signs of what wiped them out. Looks like Iocast's creators were fighting a civil war. One side built the weapon, but something went wrong. The super weapon's more dangerous than we thought. It wiped out all life on this planet. What kind of weapon wipes out an entire species and leaves the droids to tend house? Maybe a bioweapon? Sentient programming? I'm not sure. Only one thing's for certain. According to this data, it was tested on four different planets before Iocath. All successful. Over 10 trillion lives gone. This isn't a weapon. It's the apocalypse. A weapon that powerful can't be trusted with anyone. Not even the Eternal Alliance. We need to find and dismantle it piece by piece. And the sooner the better. There. I've downloaded arsenal blueprints, fusion matrices, everything our army needs to gear up with the latest and greatest Iocath weaponry. Now, let's get out of here before... ...that happens. So we have the shiny new weapons. Well, we also have the protector droid. Let's show 
on what we've got. It has a shield, but the shield will overload when it hits too many charges. the shield. Nice. Okay. Commander, we've received your intel. I'm dispatching teams to secure the rest of the weaponry. Meet me at Malcolm's base. It's about time we take the fight to the Empire. I'll see you there. And I have something to discuss once you arrive. Lana out. Something to the scouts. The, oh, there's the reset. God damn it. Yeah, we completed three out of six of our uh, Iocaf daily missions, unfortunately. The rest disappeared. I was afraid that might happen. for it now but to get back to the Republic base
Masters. Commander, we need to talk. Time's short, Lana. What's on your mind? I've been thinking. How did the Empire, the Republic, and the Eternal Alliance all find the superweapon within minutes of each other? The timing's too perfect. It can't be a coincidence. Exactly. We were acting on intel from an anonymous source. And it turns out so was the Republic. What's your point? I cross-referenced both sets of data and they're identical. I'm confident the Empire received the same intel. Whoever tipped us off wanted everyone to clash over the superweapon. They wanted to start a galactic war. Who benefits from starting a war? Could it be uh, Cena or Malcolm? We can't rule anyone out. The Shroud would normally be a suspect, but we've already cracked that mystery. And then there's Darth Jadis, or a rogue agent inside the Republic SIS. Let's not rule out Sith intelligence. The point is, there are too many suspects to count. Find me a name. I'm on it, Commander. Commander, meet the Nova Strider. She's outfitted with the Iocaf tech you recovered. Should be a worthy ride to help you lead our charge against the Empire. With firepower like this, the Empire doesn't stand a chance. May it stand as strong as our Alliance. Incoming call. Emperor Sassina, have you called to surrender? On the contrary, Commander. While you were gallivanting across Iacaf, my engineers discovered a back door into the superweapon. Once they've gained access, we will turn the weapon against you and win this war for the Empire. You have no idea what you're dealing with, Asina. That superweapon wiped out all life on Iocath. If you turn it on, you risk killing everyone here, even you. What other choice do I have? This weapon is all that stands between the Empire's survival and being obliterated by your eternal fleet. This isn't a game, Asina. If you activate that weapon, thousands will die. But I'll save millions of Imperials from the fury of the Eternal Fleet. Surely that's a cause worthy of sacrifice, Agent Benico. Good day, Commander. If we move quickly, we can stop Asina before she activates the superweapon. The walker is yours, Commander. Lead us to victory! Oh! Okay. Yo, why not? I was going to take a break, but... Hmm. Actually, tell you what, let's take a break. <laughs> We're stuck inside a walker at the moment, but... Yeah. Wow. The weapons kind of jiggle all on, on their own. Yeah, we'll take a small break. I'm not sure how long even the next part of the series will be, because we're right inside the Imperial base. Don't ask how we got dropped here. But when we come back, yeah, we're trying to get over to Empress Asina before she activates the super weapon. Thank you all for joining me once again with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you so wish. And hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, no, take care. Bye-bye now.